All right. Okay, first up, Christine from Houston. Let's see if the webcam even works. Oh, yeah, delayed intro. Hi. Goodbye. Boop. Oh, right. So powerful, that voice. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we got a substance breakdown. The thing you guys should know is I don't look at these portfolios leading up to the to the stream. I actually just start them up as the stream happens. So I see them for the first time uh, right here. It's it's real. It's real time. <laughs> so circular rug substance breakdown. Oh man, so simple. So simple yet so effective. So the weave creation, okay. Do this shape mapper node, magical, magical. Oh man, thanks Freezy. Dude, eight months, that's so crazy. Just like Tobias. Oh man. Wood Rodius. What's going on, dude? How you doing? Ah, my face. No. Oh, man. They got the Twitch Prime, too. Oh. Oh. Americans with their Twitch Primes. Um. Yeah, this is looking... I mean, it's pretty... This is interesting. The bitmap... So this must have just been some like wrinkles sculpted and then brought in. So one thing I would say about this is like you have it at like a eight bit. Just make sure make sure that that is a well. I guess it doesn't really matter because you're not using it like height maps. Maya and cloth. Interesting. <laughs> hey virus, how you doing? Again, for anyone who's just joining us, uh, I may cough. I apologize. You might want to keep the volume a little low, just in case. Oh, man. Yeah, this is really interesting how these shapes are formed. This is pretty cool. Man, this is a serious breakdown. That's super cool, though. End result looks pretty nice. I guess it must be for this scene. Yes, it is. So the only thing I would say about in this scene is like, it's pretty flat, I guess, considering like how, how aged you're expecting it to be. Oh man, Shadow, thanks dude. Oliver, what? What? Thanks dude. From above. So cool. Um. In general, though, this scene's pretty cool. Compositionally, it's pretty strong. I would, uh, I'm surprised there's not more uh, depth of field in here, though. The side's pretty empty as well. Still cool looking. Yeah, it's like, so you know when, like, paintings hang on a wall for a while? You get some, like, um... Was it like sun bleaching? So it's like the wall like gets lighter over time. But if a painting is there, right, that, that part of the wall is protected by the painting. So you can like imply what used to be there like through like light painting, if you want to call it that, or like sun bleaching or lack of sun bleaching. So you can like, um, it's like frame shadows or something like that. Anyways, this is looking... It's looking pretty, pretty slick, man. This, so this feels really high off the ground, but maybe that's intentional. It's, it is a, um, a sewing table, right? You might even use a sewing table standing. It looks like that's how high up it is. Or that's how high up it's perceived, I guess. Um, 
In general, though, this looks pretty solid. The color usage is pretty interesting as well. I definitely added just a little bit more geometry here just to get get away from those like harder edges. Yeah, this stuff's all pretty cool. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. It looks about right. All right, good to know. Yeah, it looks like it's a standing cuz like this one's definitely like you can see this table here when you have it by comparison next to each other. Dude, it's a big it's a big pedal too. Totally implies the standing. You get some BioShock vibes from this. So the walls actually don't look like they have wallpaper on them to begin with, so. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dude. It has begun. Hang on, need some water. So the wood materials look pretty good. I think if you could, maybe some like AO baked into them. So the interaction between these two. I mean, maybe the AO is there and I'm just not catching it. But like where they're meet where the wood beams are meeting kinda has like a, a hard edge to it. What's up, seventy nine? How you doing? In general this is pretty cool. I think maybe some wood <coughs> No. <coughs> I'm dying. Uh some of the wood pieces broken. Like they they broke from the outside in, right? So like you have some beams over here. Maybe putting some of those closer to the where the damage happened would help. <clears throat> Take morphine or cooking. I don't remember exactly, but both both works. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, so some material. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is interesting. The um. Are those paint drips? Cause like, so one thing, one thing to know is you want the paint drips to occur as if it was uh, unfolded, right? So the drips would be straight down. So even if it was folded, then the drips would be more angled inward. I'll just attempt to mute before a cough. That works, right? Mm. Oh, no announcement. Oh, blue. You're so right. Hang on. The mute cough was more disturbing. So the dirtiness that's occurring on here needs to have some more like, um, what do you call it? Like physical context. So like, um, kind of like AO in that sense. Leo Dran, what's up, man? For all the new people coming in or people just joining us, I have a little bit of a cold. So the coughing is real for this stream. <coughs> I'm sorry. Dorizo, what's up, man? I don't know if that's how you say it, but yeah. Oh, I, so I always like images like this because it's really interesting to see how much, how much you made versus how much, like, was put together in the engine, right? So the way that the wood here is showing, ticks, dude. Thanks, man. Dude, everyone's sick right now for some reason. It's that party I went to, I bet you. Tix, thanks for that uh, Twitch Twitch Prime sub. Super cool of you. Uh, I really like the addition of the leaves. Where are we at here? These guys? 
I feel like those leaves are pretty large and maybe if you like doubled the amount that would be pretty good. Tequila. No, tequila fixes all of this. Ugh. <coughs> tequila fixes everything. <laughs> Except alcoholism. Don't don't try and fix it with that. So you thought those little pieces were broken plates? I mean, in that angle, they can they can come off a little flat. I think maybe if there was more, like, see here, they're pretty curled. I think if there was more curling, that would be pretty good. Drink water. You think I don't know that? Come on, Scar. So judging by uh, how these props are all set up here, um, I think all of these were laid out in the engine, that's all I can assume, which is why I'm assuming that's why there's no AO in here. Oh man, all the... <coughs> is it, It's the beginning of the month, isn't it? Fun drinking game. Drink water every now and then to stay hydrated. <laughs> in engine? Wait a minute. Am I just making the connection that Polysox is, is Christine? I'm happy you're here. Yeah. I think some interaction like, uh, if I do this, <clears throat> some interaction on this edge that's uh, maybe a little bit more contrasted than the, cause like I see that you have some dark stuff in here, but maybe a little bit more contrasted so that you get the shape separation. DJ Nasty. <coughs> Worn spots get. <laughs> nice Smurf. Overall though, it's all pretty it's pretty cool. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, so since you're in chat, what what would you what are you what are you wanting out of this portfolio review? Are you trying to find out if you're ready to get into, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> get into games? Or like, are you trying to find out what more you need in your portfolio? Because I think this is, this is a great start. I think if you're trying to build your first portfolio, you're probably going to need maybe like one more scene. And poly count. Oh. <clears throat> What's the poly count in this scene? I mean, I honestly don't worry about the poly count. Use as much geometry as is needed to create the effect you're going for. <coughs> oh, I think with the broken pieces of wood, you're going to want to take an approach very similar to um, how Ben Wilson had done it. And that's like, It's 13,000 for this scene. That's that's pretty good. What's up, Red? You get the alert this time? <coughs> oh, sorry. Not the whole scene. What do you mean, not the whole scene? What's the, wait, what's 13K? I mean, I, I wouldn't say make it really high poly. Oh yes, and that that uh, reference sheet, poly budget. It's pretty good. <coughs> Does it sound like I'm feeling better, <coughs> Jordan? Oh. But I mean, I think that um. For the most part, you're doing pretty well with the poly counts. You could probably make these edges a little softer. That way the lighting can wrap around the the wood a little bit. Reed saw me at work today. I was just like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <coughs> so let's see here. Where you at, photo poo?
So I'll do a quick little thing on that. Oh, God. As you can tell, my computer has crashed. Um, wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like I'm in moto. This is weird. Ah. So bright. Okay, so take this piece, right? And if you look at it in the sense of like geometry, what you're building right now is where you have like a straight shape and then geometry you're you're like fracturing it, right? And like this would take quite a bit of polys to get to get all those nice curves and stuff in there. <clears throat> I took a half day, okay, curious. <laughs> uh, from the side view, it's probably looking like this or close to that. Um, the reason I'm drawing a side view is what I would suggest doing is uh, getting a texture sheet, right? So let's say it's your pretend. we'll pretend that's perfectly square. Um, and bake out, like model some high polys of this type of stuff. And bake that out like this. Map those to some cards. And then place those cards uh, from the side view. Place those cards like this. And then UV offset them so that you're like, those cards are, are sitting randomly along this, along this tie level. Does that make sense? doesn't really help that it's all one color. <clears throat> um... And that way you'll actually get really good like layered fracturing and all of it will have normal maps and dude, it, it does a lot, especially if you bake some AO in there, you get some like AO, like, uh, between the layers looks really good. Anywho, I would do that and you get fancy points if you like ZBrush that stuff because you could just ZBrush this fracturing wood chipping action right and then bake that all out so hot so hot um so that's the only thing i think right now actually in the scene that i'm feeling like like over here could really use some stuff maybe like don't be afraid to reuse props like um in here it would probably be kind of weird to be using this table again but I mean, maybe you could take this table and then remove the, the metal from it and then put it over here. And then maybe have like four or five of these that are like slightly different colors, maybe a slightly different uh, size pose. Six months. Thanks, man. <clears throat> yeah, the other thing. <coughs> like, sorry. <coughs> the other thing like fear saying. Don't spend too much time on things that are really small. Like these, of course, take up a small view. The only reason I say focus on them is because it's so close right here. And then uh, it's quite a bit of a focal point here. And now I'm noticing this. Um, make sure that there's gaps between the wood panels and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Is that is that like wet? Is that puddle type stuff? <coughs> uh, uh, I think for the sake of the puddle, making it either wet or dry is probably going to give you a better result in this specific scenario. Just because you're getting a lot of like haloing is what I would call this. Um, oh, what am I doing? I'm pasting the same image. So like... You have this shape. Ugh, I can't do it with that. So you have this shape, right? That's that's like full reflective, I assume. And then out here you have some like lower ranges of roughness. So I would contrast that <coughs> and make it either this or this. You're gonna get. A, I think you'll get a clearer result that way. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There is a haloing in the 
there is a haloing in the real world. Um, but that haloing usually doesn't cause um, as much of a roughness shift. It should be more of a saturation um, value shift in the wood material itself. In really extreme conditions, it would. And I guess this might be a really extreme condition because it's super bright outside. I think if the brightness was toned down, maybe you would see a little bit of a difference. Be careful with your brightness as well. I'm not sure how, like, uh, you might be over here. It might be okay to peak. By peak, I mean be at full white, depending on the look you're going for, right? <clears throat> Um, let's, uh, double click this and check the, yeah. So like out here, I mean, I think the shot would be much more interesting with like, so you have a lot of warm values inside, right? And so at the outside, you could see a little bit of the color of the sky and maybe some clouds. That's really going to like, um, bring a different feel. I mean, don't get me wrong though, that this, there's like a, there's like a style here. <coughs> Man, you guys are getting a totally different voice for me today. This is weird. Um, yeah, I kind of go back and forth on it because this is more of like a a specific look versus like trying to be realistic. Bloodborne, dude. I need to play. <coughs> I need to play Bloodborne. <sighs> My voice is killing me right now. Um, but I mean, keep doing what you're doing, make another scene, play around with more color. If you've got all those warm values in here, like bringing in, like see in the reflection, the sky is more like blue. If that, if you saw that out here, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, this shot too, I guess I'm expecting maybe some more rays. Hey, Chaos. Don't force yourself. I'm not forcing it. If I talk like this, I'll still cough. <coughs> See? See? Um, yeah. Pretty cool, though. Definitely make another... I really like this breakdown as well, by the way. Reads, is that too much for you? Can you not handle that? Are you okay? I love the focus of the mirror here, too, by the way. Good stuff. It's a really interesting scene. This thumbnail too. Solid. Yeah, poly count's fine. Maybe even a little higher in, in certain areas where you need it to be smoother, right? Too much for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to switch over to the next portfolio. If you have any questions, <coughs> Christine. Hit me up on uh, Discord. I'm always there. Be right back.